if you can't remove yourself from the person or situation to create a hedge. have to do it the inquiry and the mantra more intensely. Spend more time with yourself. Give more attention to yourself. There is no other way. If you have to do it in those circumstances, then the detachment, the hedging has to be done in your mind, which you can do by letting go of your stories and getting established in the mantra. I plus they should change. That is your problem. They may not change. Detach in the mind. What if you are a young person with an abusive parent or a parent with an abusive child. Please ask questions about yourself. <clears throat> the hypothetical situations I don't understand. If you cannot create a hedge that will give enough protection from the animals, how shall we endure the obstacles best in this case? Detach in the mind, have more intensity in your practice. And every now and then, once a month if possible, have some solitude. Go away from that place. And recharge your batteries. Go to a retreat, and especially in America, you have such wonderful places where you can go and spend two days. If possible, do it once a month. If not, once in two months. That will be very helpful. <clears throat> what if the conditioning is already about me? For example, I should not be afraid. In such cases, you have to do the inquiry on what is it that you are afraid of? I plus X what? That is equal to fear. I minus X what? Equal to fear or fearlessness or happiness. So do the inquiry on the root of the fear, please. How do you turn that around? I am not fearful anymore of that. That is the general. I accept that things can happen this way. It's the non-acceptance of the things that lead to fear. This should not happen. It may happen. There should not be loss in my life. Only gain. Always. Always. There can be loss. I accept it beforehand. And if you say, I can't accept a loss, then I will say, you will have fears. I can't help you then. <clears throat> what happens when we turn around the conditioning? Suppose Susan's case. I should be more organized and we confront a different reality. Susan is not more organized. Then Susan understands that it is her responsibility to get organized and not blame anybody else. She's not organized, she understands that. Now she starts working on herself. You do the work on yourself in that case. And if you are blaming somebody for anything, this will be true in all the cases. If you are seeing that the other person is not organized, 
and you are finding fault there, you will see that you are yourself also not happiness. If you see that the other person, if you want that the other person should be more understanding and considerate and compassionate towards you, you will see that you yourself are not compa compassionate. So you come back to yourself and start working on yourself. Should not we accept this reality of ourselves as we accept the realities of the others, then you stay on the same ladder, on the same rung of the ladder. You don't grow. You don't understand what you're asking. Think about it. That I am dependent, I want to remain dependent. Okay? I want to remain in the suffering state. Okay? If you want to. But do you, do you really want to do that? No, you don't want to suffer. If others are suffering, that is no reason that I should also suffer. I don't want to come out of it. So I don't accept that. And I grow, outgrow my previous self. Same question again. If I accept that others are lethargic, should I also not accept that I am also lethargic? You can accept it, but then you will not be happy. <laughs> what is my own history? What does this mean? <clears throat> These are me that particular object of desire. Susan, when I have the soul, am I peaceful? Am I happy? When Martin does things mindfully, is that a sufficient reason to give me lasting peace? What is my life teaching me? When such circumstances, when such situations are there, when my desires are fulfilled, am I fulfilled? And that fulfillment, is it a lasting fulfillment? This is what you are asking. That what is your own life teaching? You don't have to go into the history of the world to understand these simple things. Your own life will tell you that even when you fulfill your desires, you still remain unfulfilled. Because I plus X is equal to C, that equation remains alive in the background. You just keep hopping from one object to the other. So that equation is wrong, that has to be brought about. What is the definition of auspiciousness? It is good. <laughs> if there is something that is not... I'll read the question. What about when thoughts come up during meditation that don't seem very deep. For example, I had the thought that I was walking down the hill with other people. How do I do the inquiry? Just the first question. Dream or reality? Dream. Am I out of it? Yes, I am out of it. Because it's not a loaded thought. Loaded with conditionings or liking system. The mind is in the habit of uh, popping sometimes some certain stupid images, certain stu stupid things. It happens. You don't have to do the whole inquiry in that case. Come back to the mantra immediately. 